Hello everybody, Rob Tindall from Holganics here to talk about sprayer calibration, making sure you're applying the right amount of product down per thousand square feet. So the three things we want to consider are the pace of the technician, the width of the application, how wide you're spraying, and the amount of ounces coming out the end of your spray gun, the volume coming out the end of that gun. So the first thing we could start with is the pace of the technician. So for a simple, easy test, what we could do is simply time, time your technician's pace for 10 seconds. Let's see about how fast he walks, okay? Um, on average, it seems like most guys walk about 3.25 miles an hour. That's kind of an average pace. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna literally time myself for 10 seconds and see what that, what, how many feet I walk in 10 seconds. So I've got my stopwatch. Ten. Okay, so ten, I stopped right here. Forty-eight feet. So in ten seconds I walked forty-eight feet. So that's my pace pace. Okay, so the second measurement is going to be the width. How far left to right are you slinging it? How many feet is that width? Uh, you know, a guy with his taller or longer arms, he might be spraying at a quite a wide rate, like say 10 feet. Smaller guy, he might be more inclined to spray at a, a lower rate potentially, of like 7 feet. So that's kind of a general range. Most guys are spraying ten, 7 to 10 feet wide. So let's figure out exactly what my uh, normal spray width is going to be. So I'm literally just going to turn the gun on, do it, and then measure it and see what I end up with. Okay, so there is the spray pattern. Let's take a measuring tape and see what that comes out to. Seven feet is what that came out to. So I didn't go exactly to the very end of the little bit of overspray, but my effective spray width where there's proper coverage that I can see here from having done it you know, a couple times, as you saw, is seven feet. So that's gonna be the width. Okay, so the third measurement we're gonna talk about is the amount of ounces coming out the end of the spray gun. We have to calibrate that to come out to the gallon and a half per thousand square feet spray rate, which we are ultimately trying to achieve here. Uh, so we're gonna look at the chart, and we already did the pace test, and when I look at the chart, I was, I was going 48 feet in 10 seconds, and that's 3.25 miles an hour. I was spraying seven feet wide, so when I follow that line across, the chart's just telling me, okay, 48 ounces in 15 seconds. So what I have to do, I have to calibrate the pump and engine to spray 48 ounces in 15 seconds. Um, you can use the engine. Uh, if you turn the throttle up, you're gonna get more volume out of the end of the gun. If you turn the RPMs down, you're gonna get less volume out of the end of the gun. I recommend just maybe running your engine a little above idle. To make, you know, that way your engine is gonna basically last forever. It's hardly working. Um, and doing most of the work out of your pump, meaning turn the pressure regulator up to get higher volume and turn your pressure regulator down to get a decreased volume, okay? So we're gonna do it now and we're gonna get this to calibrate to 48 ounces in 15 seconds. So I have a, a separate bucket and a beaker here. Uh, the reason I do that is because a lot of times when you first pull in the trigger, you're gonna get an initial pulse. It's gonna spray at a little higher volume that first second or two. So I don't want that to skew my reading. I wanna make sure I'm getting a true amount of ounces in 15 seconds. So I'm gonna start off by spraying maybe four or five seconds into this first bucket, and then immediately transfer into this second measuring beaker and time that for 15 seconds. So. Let's see, let's go ahead and do this. 
start my stopwatch just so it's running. I'm going to spray for about five seconds into here. Transfer into the second bucket. And I'm going to watch my, look at my stopwatch. And at 15 seconds, I'm going to stop. And that came out to 48 ounces. That's exactly what I want. So again, if I wanted it to, if I needed it, if I was only at 40 and I needed more volume, I turned my pressure regulator up. I'd make it have more pressure basically, which give me more volume. If I was at say 58 ounces, I need to come down to the 48, then I would turn the pressure regulator down and that would give me less volume. And I do that and tweak it until I got it just right. And that's how you calibrate the gun. And by doing these three things, the, the pace, the width, and the amount of ounces out of the end of the gun, now you're properly calibrated to go out there and spray at a gallon and a half per thousand. Now, having said you're all done and completely calibrated, you may actually want to go back and double check everything. Because sometimes when you turn the pressure regulator up and adjust that pressure, you might get a little bit wider uh, of a spray pattern. And if you have to go in and turn that pressure regulator down a considerable amount, you may get a little bit narrower of a spray pattern. So just go back and double check everything, your length, the width, and, and that volume coming out and make sure everything's where you expect it to be. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about actual spray technique. When you're out there on the, in the lawn spraying, what, what's the proper method? Um, what we've done here is we've marked out some lines and they, the lines are three and a half feet apart. So this will enable me to show you when I'm spraying it seven feet wide and then I turn at three and a half feet and go down my second pass, I'm spraying back to the center of that first pass. So seven foot wide spray pattern and I'm gonna be making a three and a half foot turn at the end of each pass. So let me go ahead and do this for you, show you what I'm talking about. So, right there, I was and over to this line. That's a seven foot. Uh, now that I'm going to go back and do my return pass, I'm going to go over three and a half feet, which is half my spray width. You always want to turn and go half your spray width. And I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, return pass now. Okay, so now what we've done is we've effectively sprayed everything twice in here, okay? The only areas that didn't get sprayed twice were the very ends. So now we have to compensate for that. And how do we do that? Well, we gotta go along that edge and we gotta walk twice as fast and spray half as wide to get basically a half, half spray rate down along this because it's only got sprayed once, so now we got sprayed twice, so let me just show you. So that filled that in. Now I gotta do it again down here, because this only got half of, of a spray also. And that's it. Now both ends were sprayed double, the whole center was filled in twice, and this whole lawn, basically, this whole area's gotten sprayed twice. So that's our double uh, coverage overlap spray system that we talk about. 
Thank you.